Hey there, let's take a look at the sustainable food supply. Firstly, looking at low impact farming. To improve the sustainability of food supplies, we need alternatives to the industrial agriculture that causes less harm to the environment. These alternatives are referred to as low impact farming. So some examples are permaculture, which involves producing food by mimicking natural ecosystems. There is encouragement for people to grow their food, limit their consumption of animal products, and buy their food from more sustainable sources. Food production in permaculture aims to be low maintenance and not too harmful for soils. There's urban farming initiatives, which use spaces like roofs and balconies in cities to grow crops and raise livestock. Urban farming initiatives help to reduce food miles, which can decrease the cost of food, improving food security for the poorest people. The appeal of cities as a place to live is boosted by urban farming initiatives. Organic farming. Organic farming re returns nutrients to soil using natural processes. Restricted use of art. The restricted use of artificial herbicides and pesticides. Animals aren't vaccinated or given supplements. In an attempt to reduce food miles, authorities encourage organic farmers to sell the goods as locally as possible. Let's just recap that. So in permaculture, there is encouragement for people to grow their own food, limit their consumption of animal products, and buy their food from more sustainable sources. What is not an example of low impact farming? But organic farming, temper culture, or urban farming initiatives? The answer is Temper culture is not a low impact farming. Now let's take a look at eating seasonably and reducing waste. In addition to using less harmful growing techniques, we can increase the sustainability of food supplies by changing our habits surrounding food consumption. We can choose sustainable sources of meat. Increasing demand for fish has put many species at risk of overfishing. Sustainable sources will catch their fish in a way that is less threatening to the long term survival of the species. Grass fed meat is a more sustainable option than grain fed meat. Reducing waste. One third of all food produced worldwide is wasted. There are schemes that discourage food waste, like including love food, hate waste, and think, eat, save. Eating seasonal foods. Residents of wealthy countries expect to eat whatever foods they want throughout the year, which means a lot of foods have to get imported in large quantities. Importing like this is unsustainable because the environment is polluted as a result. By eating seasonal foods only, the amount of food being imported can be reduced. What proportion of food worldwide is wasted? Is it one fifth? One half, one third, or one quarter. One third of all food produced by is wasted. Residents of wealthy countries expect to get eat whatever food they want throughout the year, which means a lot of food has to get imported in large quantities, which is unsustainable. How can we consume food in a sustainable way? We can choose fish and meat from sustainable sources, eat seasonal foods, and reduce waste. Now let's have a look at agroforestry. In Kutiala, Mali. Because Mali is a urban country and it's so dry, intensive farming is causing desertification. In response, farmers are now using agroforestry to boost the sustainability of their food supply. Farmers plant staple crops like maize, trees, and nitrogen fixing plants close to one another. Nitrogen fixing plants increase the nitrogen in the content of the soil, which means that the need for artificial fertilizers is reduced. Trees provide shade for the crops, help limit soil erosion, and can increase the soil's water and nutrient content. It can also be used as timber for construction projects. The benefits of this is that the stale agroforestry stream increases maize yields while also protecting soil. In Mali, farmers have started planting staple crops, trees and nitrogen fixing plants close to each other. Which of the following terms describe this technique? Is it agroforestry, agrodermy, agrocropping or agrofarming? The right answer is agroforestry. What are the three components of this sustainable ecosystem? Nitrogen fixing plants, Trees and sustainable crops. Using grass to meat is more sustainable than making grain to meat. The benefit of the agroforestry schemes in Mali is that it increases sustainability of food supplies, increase maize yields, and protect the soil. Urban farming initiatives use spaces such as roofs and balconies in city environments to grow crops and raise livestock. Permaculture involves producing food from mimicking natural ecosystems. And organic farming focuses on returning nutrients to the soil using natural processes.